make sure we have fun. Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Fang, oh, sorry, yeah, and I'm the service design consultant at the Public Digital Innovation Space, also known as PDIS. Uh, we are a team uh, sit in the Digital Minister Audrey Tang's office in the Taiwan central government. My work mainly focuses on human center policy making and co-design of services. So today I'm going to talk about uh, two practices in Taiwan that respond to our topic today. They are VTaiwan and Participation Officers Network. So VTaiwan is an experiment that prototypes an open consultation process for the entire society to engage in rational discussion on digital economy. The V may stand for virtual, voice, and verb. It has a dynamic process and tools which are always adjustable by everyone. While having an online discussion, we also meet up in hackathons every Wednesday night because the deliberation is always about coming together and talking. We Taiwan's consultation meetings bring together civil society, including government officials, experts, and relevant stakeholders into large-scale discussion on policy issues. V Taiwan was born with the help from the government, uh, from the Gov Zero community that Alex mentioned, one of their mindset and concept is to fork the government after a crisis. And that crisis was the parliament attempted to run through a new trade deal with Beijing that erupted into a two, week, uh, a two weeks long occupation of the parliament. The V Taiwan approach initially reacts to emerging difficulties of regulation. There are 23 topics have been discussed through the V Taiwan process, with 20 of them contributing to decisive government action. It brings people directly into governance and help lawmakers implement decisions with greater degree of leg legitimacy. Let's talk about the Uber X case um, as an example, as it was very controversial in Taiwan. Then we have to deal with the issue through the V Taiwan process and come up with a better regulation. This is how the online discussion looks like on police platform in 2015. Later on, Airbnb was facing the same issue and went through the VTOWN process again. We can't spend so much effort on similar things. And naturally, the VTOWN process moves on to building an environment that anticipates, not react, anticipate and resolve crisis through social innovation. V Taiwan helps drive platform economy sandbox as a way to anticipate and resolve crisis. People are able to break rules in safe environment. We will not need to go through the entire V Taiwan process to react to a new platform related business that we are not able to regulate. The sandbox is currently run by the National Development Council. There are other regulatory sandboxes that deal with financial technology and unnamed vehicles. The period of regulatory co-creation is between one and up to four years if it requires low change. At this stage, we don't need crisis to give us opportunities to drive innovation. But how can we make this sustainable? Capability building is the key to achieve a sustainable ecosystem for the environment that drives innovation around social issues before they escalate into crisis. Civil servants are powerless when they work in individuals, work as individuals in silos. Similarly, stakeholders find it difficult to reach out to each other when they are segmented into sectors. 
To achieve a positive outcome for individuals, the society and the environment, we need to be looking for the common ground uh, among different voices. The notion of how small impact, like little drips, oops, I missed the slide. Like little drips can eventually transform into significant change. We just need to make sure it keeps dripping. Now we move on to the PO network. PO network um, is known as Participation Officers Network. It is a community around 70 civil servants in the central government across 32 uh, ministries. It serves to grow civil servants' capability, drive culture change, connect resources, and cut across departmental silos. This ne network plays a key role in Taiwan's open government scene. PILs are deeply involved in the conversation with the civil society and governmental divisions by tackling cross-government issues with wider stakeholders openly and creatively. In this way, we are committed to build a multi-stakeholder governance system that reinforces the trust between the citizens and the government. Laws and regulations can both be challenged and they should be the outcome that naturally occurs, not the final outcome. Being able to absorb all perspectives is crucial for us to establish social norms in order to drive innovation for a better future. Thank you. Thank you very much.